Hello, and welcome to the Joya Reefing. We have another new product for you today. This one here comes from API. We have the Super Activated Carbon. This is basically like um, charcoal for your aquarium. Uh, even people in freshwater can use this. Um, supposedly this one from API is a little more of a high quality carbon than most. Uh, quite honestly, I don't know the whole difference between them. They all seem about the same. But this one here is uh, one large filter pouch, which is good for up to 55 gallons. Um, I'm going to be cutting one of these open as well as uh, one of their biosorbs and using it in a small Pico tank that I'm going to be setting up uh, here shortly. Um, just basic instructions. Let's get zoomed in here for you. Um, when to use starting or maintaining an aquarium to clear your aquarium water and just rinse the pouch with carbon under tap water to remove any dust it does not need to rinse clear uh, place pouch and path of water flow in the aquarium replace every month or sooner if aquarium is heavily stocked and or colors and odors are detected um, i think these bags are primarily used uh, to fit some type of a canister filter situation um, this point, unfortunately, in the Pico tank, it's going to be an all-in-one system, so I'm just going to limit the amount that's in the bag and place it into an empty section in the back of the tank. Um, let's get into her here and see how see how she looks. It has a resealable pouch. And on the inside, we have this, um, like a real fine, almost like a netting bag. There's very little powder coming off from it. Usually when you open one of these up, your hands turn like you've been a coal miner all day. Let's see here. Not bad. All right. Well, let's run her over to the sink, give it a rinse, and see how she looks. Okay, so here we are at the sink. I just have tap water running, kind of cold. Um, I'm on city water supply, so, you know, it is what it is. You can see when you start rinsing the bag, it gets almost a little transparent. Get it down here and sight for you. There comes the black water. See, that's what I was expecting when I first opened it. You hear my dogs back there playing. Anytime I talk and they think it's time to play. Well, it says it doesn't need to run clear, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Ooh, give it a shake, and we get some really black. I'm assuming as I transport this to the tank, I'm not going to want to uh, shake it up too much. I'll let some of this tap water run out and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so here we are at my sump. It's a Trigger Systems Emerald sump, uh, 30 gallon. Uh, pretty nice sump. Everything's really, really clean, really simple. Um, I love this adjustable uh, gate valve or gate flow here um, this wall a lot of sumps you have to stick things under your um, skimmer or you know raise it or you know however to get your skimmer at the right level with this sump you can just uh, raise or lower this center partition and it'll raise or lower your water volume um, just make sure if you're raising it here you add water over here otherwise you're return pumps will run dry so what I'm going to do here and go over just a little bit 
is I'm actually going to remove this big carbon bag here. It's been in there for a couple months now. Take it out slowly so I don't disturb it too much. Every time you disturb this stuff, it just creates a cloud. Now this large bag was the big pellets. And it said that was rated at a 50 gallon. It's about twice the size of the new API bag, which is rated for 55 gallons. Again, try not to disturb it too much. And just place it there in the sump. Now, ideally these would go inside of a canister filter type situation where the flow would be a little more direct through them. Um, however, the carbon's in the water, the water's moving around it, it's going to do something. It will absorb what it's supposed to absorb. So, we'll see how it goes, and well, if I notice any changes, I'll update the video.